Hello, my friends. It's the 6th of April, 2014. Mr. Max Bliss, southwest of France, and we've we've got a horrific example of geoengineering. But really, it's climate forcing. You see, because uh, you know we we know that there is a difference between the chemtrail and the geoengineering program. They say the geoengineering program hasn't started yet. Well, I'm not too sure about that. But the one thing we can be sure of is that these chemtrails are actually used to force the climate. What they're doing is actually making it warmer. Um, they're, they're also, the aluminium that we've been finding in heavy uh, quantities, in much excessively high amounts uh, in rainfall, um, are therefore in the atmosphere. These uh, interact with the... Uh, the ozone and shred the ozone, removing the ozone protection from the UV radiation, giving us the impression, oh, we've got global warming. But really, it's, it's actually um, the effects of the ozone removal, which, of course, is harming all the plants. Um, I mean, there's lots of things that could be harming the plants. We're getting all these plants with bubbly sort of uh, so on, so on. Uh, We've got planes chemtrailing all over the place. It's ridiculous, free for all. Uh, all day today, it's been cloudy, cloudy. We've come home from a nice walk in the countryside, and we've got um, this horrific geoengineering, chemtrailing, climate forcing thing. We've got things wrong with the plants. I don't know if you can see this leaf here. Let's see if it comes out. Bit too, in the dark, can you see that? See, it's getting mutated. Hopefully it'll come into focus. Let's pull it off. Look at this poor old plant. Look, look what's happening to it. You see something's happened to it? Okay, something's happened to it. Mick West, Michael Glynn, the rest of you guys, Ross Marsden, and I don't know what other poisonous bloke, was that Jay Reynolds? You guys are insane to allow this to happen. You want the new world order, obviously. That's the only reason, because you guys know only too well that what we are not we are seeing here are chemtrails these are chemtrails these are not condensation trails at all and the guys from metabank are criminals because they are participating in making sure as few public as possible catch on to the fact that there is a massive program going on. This program is toxic. It's also, it also involves nanotechnology. It involves uh, controlling the weather, the massive fraud of global warming and climate change to bring about huge laws, 500 new climate laws, uh, the United Nations Agenda 21, Sustainable Development, which will change the way society lives, removing your property rights, uh, removing your, uh, your, even your right to grow your own food. The EU has got a seed law going through at the moment, although it's getting some resistance because people want the right to grow whatever food they want to. But this is the type of laws that are being slowly, incrementally implemented, or actually I think quite quickly, so that people will lose their rights to be independent. This is what Metabunk are trying to make sure people don't click on to. Because this is what it's all about. This is a massive programme. And this is incredible. These are not condensation trials. This is not what we used to see years ago. Not so many years ago. Outrageous. And what a shame. I wish Mick West and Jay Reynolds and Michael Glynn and Ross Marsden were decent, all-round, honest people.